Hello everyone, this is Kaifu here. Today we have game one in the series for Force Will TCG held in Melbourne. If you guys didn't know, this is actually the Asia Grand Prix 2015. So on my right side we have Jonathan who's actually playing Red Rush Control. Using a lot of uh, burn spell, controlling the opponent's to high point and beating them down with rush abilities. While on my left side we have Henry, represented from New Zealand, is actually playing Black Brush Control. Using a lot of high big stick, running over stuff, being down and using a lot of control spells such as uh, Kiss of Death and so on, getting control on the field present overall and not only that able to rush right away with two cards below. Now back to the game itself, attacking directly with the demon but Jonathan responds with a thunder not allowing it to get any damage and during the battle phase Henry actually discard Kukunuchi to the graveyard to give an explosion. Now without this card it hinged that uh, Henry does have uh, Oath of the Dead in his hand to resurrect it. If you guys don't know, Oath of the Dead is a resurrection card from a uh, target card in your graveyard, resonated that is, and resurrect it and it loses 200 attack and 200 defense. So it's pretty much like a permanent burial pretty much. Attacking directly 700 points from 7 dwarves putting Henry down to 3300 life points. Like I said before, in the previous turn he actually does have Oath of the Dead resurrecting Kukunuchi and this kind of free card during the battle phase he's just saying he's going to battle phase this kind of and draw brand new cards so which is a really good play overall this kind of dead cards he doesn't want and drawing brand new cards to fix his hand for next turn now back to Jonathan's turn now typing for another magic stone at the moment he has to deal with Kukunuchi that can re uh, recycle his hand but I but since Henry does block it, it gives explosion to 7 dwarves, not letting uh, Henry get any more hand advantage next turn. Playing out of that by uh, Jonathan, actually resurrecting Golden Dragon with swiftness and flying, doing enough damage on board, putting Henry down to 2100 life points. Now, currently the life point is 2100 to Henry and 4000 life point to Jonathan. Life point wise, it's going towards Jonathan at the moment, but life point doesn't mean too much as if we don't have any cards in the field. But let's see what can Henry do to turn this come back around. Since the uh, Golden Dragon is actually flying, he will come back a lot next turn if it does survive next turn. Flying again, doing enough damage on board, putting uh, Henry in a bad position. So meaning Henry has to somehow destroy that Golden Dragon. Now paying 400 life points to activate Odo the Dead. Odo the Dead is pretty much you pay 400 your life, produce 3 Dark Wheel for the turn, and you use one of them to place Twin Skeleton Blade, attacking the uh, Golden Dragon, give it explosion to it, not allowing Jonathan to have any more of those uh, shenanigan flying beat stick overall. Attacking again with 500 points from another skeleton, putting Jonathan to 3500 life points. Playing Buzz for his final uh, Black Wheel, Doing 300 point of damage, putting Jonathan down to 3200 life points, using Ode of the Den once more, resurrecting Kukunuchi to draw a brand new hand over Raw again until he has 7. Now, it depends if uh, Henry can survive the next turn, if Jonathan doesn't have another Ode of the Den in hand, what he just did last turn, but let's see what happens. Typing for another Magic Stone. Another Earth of the Dead, I didn't expect that coming. Now he's resurrecting Golden Dragon, attacking directly, putting Henry down to 300 light points. Now let's see what can Jonathan do. Can he actually rush enough damage on board to do the extra 300 point damage? Or he can actually burn he, uh, Henry to death? That's the game guys, thank you for watching, thank you for listening guys. That's game 1 in the series, stay tuned for game 2. Peace guys.